Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Duffy programming series. So in this video, we are going to be making uh, a program that will basically just concatenate different strings. Um, so concatenate means basically to add two strings into one. So yes, let's do that. So we have this is our basic our basic GUI. Um, this is player one, EDT player one, and EDT EDT player two, and the basic memo memo one. Let's write some code. Memo one dot lines dot add. So how to concatenate strings? Basically, this is the first string plus the second string. So that's how we do it. We can basically concatenate this, for instance. So if we compile now, then we, then we will get this code. So basically, made these two strings into one. So let's do that now. EDT. So there are actually two ways to concatenate strings. I'll show both. EDT player one dot text. And also EDT player two. Uh, what's this? Just ignore that. It's basically as well. Oops, we forgot something. Ah. Okay. Plus, just a space between it. Um. And okay. So now we can add player one is PewDiePie versus Markiplier. Okay. Yeah. Add as you can see, you made one string. Let's make this a cool app. Yeah, we are cool. Let's do this. Uh, add a string somewhere here. Change it to versus. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, versus. I like that. Okay, then it's also also an, an, another another way to do this. You can use this way, or you could use this comment comment this way out. Or you could use this, this this other way, which I kind of prefer a bit. So let's create a variable for this one. Variable data string. So you can say data equals to the edt player one dot text, and then we say data equals to concat. So this is the concat function. Basically, works the same. Concat this and comma and this together. That basically how it works. There's a limit. You can even concat a third or a fourth string into this. So yep, let's do that now. Uh, let's not add that. Sorry, this should not be here because um, we have two strings. Let's do this and this two, and also concat versus. And then we just display the data. To compile. We'll see this also works. Let's say Jack Septic I I okay. anyway, like this Jack Septic I versus um me Sean Result add add yes basically that that's just the tutorial I wanted to show you guys. So, thanks for watching guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video.